2021 is the 22nd year for the Far East Russia Orca Project, FARAP. Along with Alexander Burden and Hal Sato, I co-founded the project in 1999 and have stayed on as co-director. These days, Olga Filatova and Tatiana Ivkovich have uh, been leading the field teams. I'm pleased to say that the FARAP team has managed to visit the Russian Far East including Arctic waters every summer since 1999, including in last year's pandemic summer. And in fact, Olga and Tanya, along with Ivan Fedutin, are right now in the Kuril Islands, uh, south of Kamchatka, north of uh, Hokkaido, uh, looking for killer whales. So what have we found out? As with many ORCA projects, we have based our work on photo ID and recordings. We have now more than 2,000 individual photo IDs of resident or fish-eating killer whales, and more than 150 of uh, photo IDs of the mammal eaters. Uh, there aren't any offshore ORCAs, but otherwise these uh, fish eaters and the mammal eaters do seem to be equivalent to the big orcas and uh, uh, resident orcas that you find off the eastern North Pacific. The dialect systems are comparable in their complexity uh, and, uh, and structure, of course, with Russian accents. And Olga has uh, led the um, writing of numerous papers based on her and the wider team's uh, recordings. Now, in uh, 2020, we had 47 working days and 28 days with killer whales uh, at two locations in Kamchatka. One, our usual location in the southeast uh, at Avacha Gulf, and the other about 360 kilometers north, opposite the Kronotsky Reserve. Uh, and we had new and very rarely seen orcas found in that northern area. And that it was great because the team met the reserve director and he introduced them to the governor of Kamchatka. And we were able to sit down and talk about some of the problems of marine mammal conservation in Kamchatka. And Farah was asked to uh, advise on whale watching regulations, which is developing in that area. So one big finding with the uh, field research last year was uh, meeting calves of four females in different families who hadn't had calves for more than 10 years. And analyzing the demography data, um, the, we found that the birth rates are very low with a lot of young calves dying between uh, 2006 and 2016. And in recent years, that has gone up a little bit, but it is concerning. We also have increasing information based on feeding habit uh, studies, so some of it coming from scales and some of it coming from drones, that the fish-eating killer whales have a large variety of prey species in their diet, not just various species of salmon, uh, but also atka mackerel and other fishes. And also, as in the past, uh, we included uh, research into Baird's beaked whales, humpback whales, and North Pacific right whales when we see them. And this is part of the beauty of this FARAP work that we've been able to spin off studies into these other species uh, along with papers uh, and with individual FARAP members taking the lead. After the field season in 2020, there was a massive die-off of invertebrates along the coast of Avacha Gulf. Kamchatka, and we, we really uh, weren't able to um, find out very much about it uh, in terms of the effect on killer whales, but we will find out more this summer. In other news, the Russian Prime Minister Mikhail uh, Mishustin reported recently that the government will pass a new bill banning the harvesting of whales and dolphins. This comes from the whale jail, famous whale jail episode in uh, Primori uh, territory, after which the government had tightened the requirements for catching uh, orcas and belugas for entertainment and educational purposes. 
And if you look at, you know, from the period of uh, 2004 uh, onwards, when the, uh, when the first um, whales, orcas were captured, there were more than 20 orcas removed and all from the mammal eating groups in the Yakult Sea. I mean, most of those were from 2016. So we're hoping that this is now ended. For more information on our project, you can follow our webpage or our Facebook page, uh, Russian Orcas, RussianOrca.org, um, or Instagram. I gave a summary of the project, how it got started, and what we found out over the years in the 2019 edition of uh, Orca the Whale Called Killer, uh, along with photographs. And we've published quite a few papers, all available on ResearchGate, or let me know if you're looking for something. We're very grateful to all our sponsors, including Whale and Dolphin Conservation, Animal Welfare Institute, the Pew Foundation for Marine Conservation, uh, Humane Society International, and Ocean Care. Thank you very much.